Other than the lineup, there were few givens about the debut of Fare Thee Well, the five-date run of shows headlined by the core four of The Grateful Dead, Bob Weir, Phil Lesh, Mickey Hart and Bill Kratzman, to mark the band's 50th anniversary. Sure, Thray and Astasio from Fisher guest billing alongside keyboardists Bruce Hornsby and Jeff Chimanti, but who would take the leads on guitar, steer the jam and, most importantly, handle vocals once sung by Jerry Garcia, remained a mystery come showtime. As it was, anyone expecting the fishification of the Grateful Dead at Santa Clara California's Levi's Stadium on June 27 was both satisfied and a bit underserved. That's because Anastasio, a guitar god in his own right with 30 years of heavy touring under his belt who's known for his on-stage showmanship, has the role of player in this group, a featured one, to be sure, but it's not his band. Grateful Dead 50th Anniversary, all our coverage, well, duh, you're most certainly thinking, except that Anastasio holding back is so uncharacteristically unthray that, for a Fish fan, it's almost jarring. So set one of Fair the Well took some getting used to, not just for the audience, but even for Anastasio, Weir and Lesh to settle in. But settle they did, finding a groove not long after opening the night with two of the Dead's biggest hits. Truckin' and Uncle John's band. Both got the mid-tempo treatment, the laterary and bright in tribute to its acoustic, sing-along origins, as they set the pace for the rest of an hour-long set that dove back into the dead archive for even older choices like Alligator, which still found Anastasio somewhat restrained. He loosened up during Cumberland Blues, a long-time favorite of the rockabilly variety that seemed well-suited to Anastasio's playing style and got to shine more on Cream Puff War by taking the lead on vocals, but heading into the intermission, all was put aside as a spectacular rainbow arched over the venue as Viola Lee Blues played on. No, it wasn't real, an insider tells Billboard it cost the production $50,000 to pull off, but money well spent as the jubilation that came with it, certainly was.